Well, there is a new culprit tonight in the war on drugs. Law enforcement agencies across the country say an animal sedative known as xylazine is now fueling America's drug crisis. Authorities say dealers are lacing it with other drugs to create a deadly concoction known as trank dope. Fox News correspondent Alexis McAdams has more. Trank is having devastating consequences across the country. I talked to a mom, Loretta Mazzoni, who tells me about the call that changed her life forever. It was from the county corner on Pennsylvania telling her that her son had overdosed. They took him out by ambulance and they kept trying to give him Narcan, but Narcan does not work with xylazine. And they didn't know. They did not know that it was xylazine. They didn't know. A lot of hospitals don't know. And um, the Narcan wasn't working. And they tried to resuscitate him, and um, and he died like within 15 minutes after he got to the hospital. Dylan Curran was 32 when he died back in December. After his family tells me he bought what he thought was heroin out in Kensington. That's a neighborhood with an open air drug market in Philadelphia, but it was laced with fentanyl and the animal tranquilizer xylazine. Dylan's story is unfortunately just a glimpse into the death toll that Trank is having on America. The DEA says it seized xylazine and fentanyl mixtures in nearly every single state. And just last month, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that the percentage of fatal opioid overdoses in which xylazine is detected is up by, listen to this, 276% just between January of 2019 and June of 2022. So the drug has horrible effects on humans, as we talked about before. It causes people to walk around slumped over, pretty much unconscious, and it covers their arms and legs with large wounds. And here in New York City, the special narcotics prosecutor tells me that her team's going after these dealers, investigators busting into stash houses, finding large bags of drugs just like this that have been cut with xylazine. It's all about making the bucks. There's no concern for human life. It's only about money. So to the extent we can hit these organizations where it hurts, in their pocketbooks. That's another effective tool. So what's being done to stop this? Well, the White House is working to make this drug a controlled substance so that would limit availability. And in March, President Biden asked Congress for more than $46 billion for nationwide drug programs, but nothing yet. Reporting in New York, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox News.